Hi there. Welcome to the Recovery Journey Channel. I'm Coach Chris and I'm back with you for episode three. As I said early on, I'm keeping these episodes short so that you can um, not have to devote a lot of time to the beginning episodes because I'm just kind of uh, hope to give you some, some outline uh, to go by. And uh, as I share uh, some of my thoughts on substance use and alcoholism and addiction, uh, I want to help as many people as I can. My, my mission is to bring uh, peace and joy and recovery and health and wellness to people uh, that are suffering with uh, continued use of drugs and alcohol. So what I, in order for me to be effective in helping people, maybe someone like you, is I like to break things down and give people an opportunity to determine kind of where they fall in the categories, um, uh, kind of where their um, issues lie, where do they see themselves on the timeline. Um, so in the last episode, I switched up on you. I gave you in the first episode, uh, uh, Drinker, drinker, drugger, number one, number two, and number three. And then in the last episode, I decided to start with number three, which was the binge drinker. So today I'm gonna go to number two, which is the person who uh, doesn't consider themselves an alcoholic or an addict, um, but they do uh, drink a little more than the binge drinker does. The binge drinker that we discussed says, he only does it every once in a while, but when he does, he goes way overboard with it. Okay, so the second one is a person who, let's call them a heavy drinker or heavy user, um, but they don't drink and use every day, okay? You don't have to drink and use every day. Um, but here's the here's the catch I want you to pay really close attention to because it's a, it makes a big difference. And, and, and what we're talking about here today does not help you at all unless you decide to be completely honest with yourself. Um, so here's the question. When you take a drink or when you snort a line or you smoke a joint or you take a pain pill, let's say you haven't done it in a month or a week, when you um, take that substance into your body, when you consume that substance, do you find shortly after, maybe an hour after the effect begins, maybe you have three drinks and you start feeling the effect, do you find that it's really almost impossible to stop, stop yourself from taking another drink an hour later or another uh, hydrocodone pill two hours later or use whatever the substance is again in, in a little while, okay? What, what we call that is the phenomenon of craving, which means once I take uh, an amount of substance, once I consume maybe just one drink, some, some amount, Something happens up here and it creates this craving for me to use more of it. And I don't know where that comes from. I don't know, uh, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know where this comes from, but it happens to me. Every time I start, even if it's been a week or so or two, when I take one drink, I wanna have eight more. So determine by being honest with yourself if that describes you. And then in the next episode, we're going to break down that first category. So thank you for tuning in to the Recovery Journey channel. Uh, hit subscribe so and, and hit the alert so you'll know when my next episode uh, posts on the site. Thanks a lot. I'm Coach Chris, and I hope that you do well today. Bye-bye.